To execute a flow, you need two things, a trigger and at least one step. The trigger will initiate the flow, and the step will perform an action. However, flows can get as large and complex as your incident processes require, and can be used to automate and add intelligence to your resolution processes. Let's build a simple flow to create a Slack channel and send a notification to an on-call resource when the flow is triggered. We'll start with the trigger. The email trigger is the easiest to use. Drag the email trigger onto the flow, then mouse over it, and click the edit icon. This will also prompt you to save your flow. Give the trigger a name. You'll need to add the user that will be used to initiate the flow. Our name is added automatically, but we can type two or more letters of another username to perform a search. Now let's create an XMatters event. Go to the Tools tab and drag Create XMatters Event onto the canvas. Hover over it, select the Edit icon, and let's fill in the options. Let's add our support team, in which we're the first on call for, as the recipient, and the rest of the fields with the details of the event, and click OK. The next step we'll add is Slack. We'll need an endpoint first to connect to our Slack instance. We can do this from the Components menu at the top. Click Add Endpoint and select Slack as the endpoint type. Now it's as easy as clicking Connect and selecting our Slack instance. Let's go to the Apps menu on the palette, expand the Slack tab, and drag Create Channel onto the canvas. Before configuring this step, we'll need to connect to it, as connecting will add the variables from the first two steps into our options for configuring Slack. Now when we edit our Slack step, we can see the tabs for the information passed from the previous steps. For the channel name, let's add the event ID variable. This way, every time an event is created, the Slack channel will get a unique name that we can use to easily find later. Add the Slack endpoint we created earlier and OK to save. Now let's add a responses trigger. The responses will be filled in automatically from the options in the responses section of your workflow. There are two options. Acknowledge, which terminates the event, and Escalate, which will notify the next on-call resource in the team's escalation order. Let's add a Post to Channel step and connect it to the Acknowledge Response option. Edit it, and we can see the information from the responses has been added to our variables. Add the event ID as the channel name to post in the channel we created already. Then Acknowledge by and the Responded to by variable. This will add a message to the channel letting everyone know who's taken ownership of the issue. Now let's save and test it out. Copy the email address from the trigger and send a message to it using your email client. First, we can see the Slack channel was created. Checking our XMatters inbox, we can see the notification. Let's respond with acknowledge. This response posts a message in our Slack channel and terminates the incident. In our activity monitor in the flow designer, we can see that our flow was successfully executed. You've now taken your first step towards creating automated tool chains that streamline complexity and reduce your mean time to resolution.